Last night's taping of Late Night with Stephen Colbert was the first episode back since Catherine's cancer diagnosis. So obviously host Stephen Colbert had to address the Kate Middleton elephant in the room, and he appeared remorseful over Kate Middleton's skit after cancer diagnosis. Dude, where's the apology? Welcome to Popcorn Palace, and yes, we will be talking about Diddy and the connection to Prince Harry. We'll be live over on Popcorn Planet later, breaking down the whole Diddy updates. And yes, we will be talking about it later today here. There's a connection to Prince Harry. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But first, I didn't wanna lose this story. Stephen Colbert has responded by appearing remorseful. And you'll notice I went through a lot of press. Again, he doesn't apologize. And, and thankfully, no outlet is saying he did because he didn't. He appeared remorseful because a lot of people were upset with what he said. Now, listen, if you actually went through the jokes that he told that night, they were all just a bunch of stupid British jokes. He brought in a butler, got some tea, made fun of the names. Uh, I wasn't offended by the jokes per se, and I'm sure some of you were, but I'm not here to demand a comedian apologize for his jokes. Nothing should be off limits, in my opinion, for comedy. I'm sure some of you will disagree, but for me, Comedy is comedy. You can either like it, you cannot. You cannot support the comedian, you cannot. But we must allow everything to be able to be made fun of. Some people can handle it, some people can't. Uh, my issue with the jokes wasn't the jokes itself, it was bringing up and drudging up this old affair rumor, which then went viral. Because he brought this up from so far long ago, uh, a lot of people then brought it up as well. He was a big uh, uh, you know, influence and, and joke, comedian rather. Uh, and this affair rumor then went ran ran rampant around the internet, online. Colbert almost sort of opened up the floodgates to say, yep, everything's fair game. Let's bring up that affair. That's why she's gone. Clearly, for someone of his stature to do it was really shady and he should have known better. There was no actual evidence of this. So why not apologize? Maybe because Rose Hanbury's actually responded already with a legal notice. And if he apologizes, he's admitting fault. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to apologize for his jokes because it opens up the floodgates. Either way, this appearing remorseful did nothing for me. It just felt like he was walking a tightrope without being genuine. And I got to say, I was not impressed by this. And I don't hate Colbert like others. Um, I've always been a fan of him. He's definitely more liberal leaning, but he's done some funny jokes for me in the past but I got to say, incredibly disappointed with what he did here. Just own it. Just apologize. I think he could have just apologized, not for the jokes, but for saying, listen, we didn't know what Catherine was going through. Obviously, if we had, we wouldn't have made those jokes at the time. Uh, but I especially want to apologize for bringing up these affair rumors, which were clear rumors, and a lot of people ran with them, and we didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, that was the last thing they needed to worry about during such a tragic th time. Obviously, we didn't know, but we could have done better, and we'll try to do better in the future. Like, something like that, right? It's easy. I, I just said it. Like, But he couldn't. He didn't, and I wish he had. Uh, instead, here's what we got. Now, I got to start and stop because CBS is so litigious, even though this is clear, fair use news. I'm a news channel. I'm sure they're going to try to claim or block this video, so I've repurpose it and transform it. So apologies for the quality and for starting and stopping, but I just have to due to CBS. But here's, I wanted to show you the full extent. Here's the full remorseful statement. Uh, we, we do a lot of shows and, and, and I tell a lot of jokes. Now, right at the gate, he's already trying to justify it. Guys, we tell, uh, uh, there's a lot of stammering because you can tell he's uncomfortable and he doesn't know what to do. Maybe he didn't get to say what he wanted to say. Uh, uh, we do a lot of shows. We do a lot of jokes. So give me a break. And I tell jokes about a lot of different things, mostly what everybody's talking about. And for the last six weeks to two months, everybody has been talking about the mystery of Kate Middleton's disappearance from the public life. Uh, if you'd done your homework, you would have known she was actually recouping from surgery, which she said she'd be gone till Easter. Uh, now, to be fair, he's right. Obviously, the public's been talking about it, and he has a right to joke. He could have made jokes, though, about the hysteria without actually going into the weeds of affairs and she's dead type of stuff that he brought up. And uh, two weeks ago, we did some jokes about that mystery and all the attendant uh, frou-fra in the reporting about that. Uh, he's trying to change the history. The frou-frou, sure, you brought out a teacup and a butler and you made fun of the names. 
You know, you kept making fun of the, I, I don't even know how to say, the Marchinius of Chalmondary. Like I, I, as an American, yeah, this is hard for us to say. And I think it's up for jokes. It's a silly, easy joke, but it is what it was. But no, you, you, there was more than that. You you judged up this whole affair rumor and you got the tea on it. Uh, and I guess you could say, sure, this was you responding to how the rest of the press was doing it, but it, it didn't. it didn't actually feel that way to me. And when I made those jokes, uh, that upset some people and yeah, I'm glad he acknowledged that at least it wasn't like, Oh, well, now we're sorry. Even then people were upset before we knew she had cancer. We were still upset because it was like, dude, why are you bringing this up? And specifically the affair stuff. Even before her diagnosis was revealed. And I can understand that. I mean, a lot of my jokes have upset people in the past. And he's sort of owning this and I can't fault him. He doesn't want to have to apologize for a joke. And honestly, like I said, he shouldn't have to apologize for a joke. It's about him drudging up false stuff. And I'm sure some of my jokes will upset people in the future. They will. He's right. And they should, because comedy needs to push boundaries. But there's a standard that I try to hold myself to. And that is, I do not make light of somebody else's tragedy. Now... I guess his excuse here is I didn't know it was tragic. And that's what he's trying to play here. And so he's like, I just didn't know. Not going to apologize for them, but I didn't know. So cut me some slack, people. That's what he's trying to do here. Now, I don't know whether her prognosis is, is a tragic one. She's the future. It, it's tragic. It's definitely tragic. Now, life-threatening, we don't know. But it's still tragic. So this is a weird, like word vomit he does the queen of england and i assume she's gonna get the best possible medical care but regardless of what it is i know and i'm sure many of you far too many of us know that any cancer diagnosis yeah it's serious and sorry i just have to keep cutting away so they don't try to say i'm playing too long of a video i'm, I'm reacting to his full statement because it's important to hear the full context of any kind it's harrowing for the patient and for their family. And again, that's why she asked for some time to not, uh, you know, be ridiculed. And, and look, making fun of the situation is easy. Tons of jokes that could have been made about the situation, but you had to go and bring up the chance. Oh, let's bring up Rose and all this stuff. And, and got tea, dish on the goss is as he called it. And I'm sorry, but he can't say it. And should I say the sorry? Legal told me not to say the sorry. I, whatever the reason. Though I'm sure they don't need it from me. <laughs> they don't need it from me. I mean, true, but we all do. I and everyone here at The Late Show would like to extend our well wishes and heartfelt hope that her recovery is swift and thorough. Her recovery is swift and thorough. I don't know, man. This is so awkward for me. Like, what? I... Now, please say hello to Lewis Cato and the Late Show Band. Now, here's the band. Huh? <laughs> it's such a weird tangent. Look, Colbert, I get it. You're in a tough spot. And some of you are going to disagree with me. So I, I, hopefully some of you will. I want to hear the comments both. I get it. But be respectful. Please be respectful. Don't be like these people emailing me. Andy, it's Kate, it's Catherine. Stop calling her Kate. Oh my God. It's like pronoun people. Like, my gosh, I'm trying my best. I've said it multiple times. I'm trying. But you guys can understand that's what the press calls her. And it's just as I'm reading everything, uh, like everybody call, in the America and in the press and some in the UK still call her Kate. And I just don't think that's the issue right now we need to worry about. So stop getting so mad in the comments. I get it. Some of you are annoyed. You're defending her, but it's too much. And it makes me want to call her Kate because I just don't like bullies demanding things. I, I don't know her personally. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying. Back off. Anyway, my point is some of you are going to still be mad no matter what I say. And some of you are going to be mad that I'm saying, no, Andy, you got to apologize for the jokes. I disagree. I disagree as an American here. I think every joke should be said. It doesn't mean I can't be offended. I can still be offended by a joke. I cannot support the comedian who said said joke. There's a lot of other actions that can still happen based on the joke, but I do believe jokes should be able to be made. Now, you can make offensive jokes. You can cross a line and get too offensive with a joke. No doubt. 
I don't think he did that here. I don't. Uh, and I think he just, my, my again, my issue is more drudging up this false story, which clearly Rose agreed because she responded with legal notice, apparently, allegedly. And uh, that may be why this is such a bad non-apology. Uh, but either way, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in Colbert's whole thing. Like, just to, don't even address it. Uh, like I said, it. I gave a much better version. You could have owned it and understood why people were upset, and, and rightfully so, and addressed it. And, and also made fun of yourself, like, Wow, we really look stupid. Like, man, I did a whole week making fun of this woman and she has cancer. Who's the dummy? Like, be self-appreciating then. There's a million ways you could have handled this better than this fake, disingenuous, heartfelt, remorseful, thorough. <laughs> it's just, it, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. And I don't think this helped. Now, some of his audience, you can even see in the chat. Oh, why can't more people be? Oh, uh, this is the uh, different version. Why can't more people be like him? Blah, 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 blah. I, 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 don't, I don't agree. What do you guys think? I wanted to address this out because Colbert was a big part of this, the rumors and things that were going specifically about the affair uh, and even saying she was dead. But I, that that's clearly what to me was a joke. Uh, but what do you think of this? Do you accept this? Do we think move on from him? Will you never support him again? Or do you cut him some slack? I want to hear your thoughts down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you do. Hit that bell for alerts. Smash that thumbs up as well and tell me your thoughts. Yes, we're covering Diddy and the Prince Harry connection. It's wild. So stay tuned. You're not going to miss that. Make sure to join us live. We may be live earlier today over on Planet, so go check it out. Plenty of content for you to watch today. Plenty of news. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Palace.